goes on admitting that she has this thyroid problem. They just take her off the medication. Her lips have swollen up and are black. Blood's coming out. She's writing to her congressman. She says, I'm 46 years old. I know my body. I finally convinced them that I was not playing and was not stupid, so they treated me with a packet for stool sample test. When it came back, they admitted that even months before I'd had the thyroid problem, the blood test showed the problem with the thyroid was happening back then. He said I would be put on a schedule for new blood work later that week because the results were too old. He had a short conversation with Dr. DeLion in Spanish and then said the thyroid count was off. That was November 3rd. I was administered the stool test and then returned to Nurse Charlie on Friday, November 20, uh, November 6th. Today is November 26th, Thanksgiving. I have not received the results of my stool test. I have not been given any new blood tests. My neck is swelling up like a fishbowl, and I'm having trouble talking. I have been feeling very ill for the last weeks. Congressman, I don't want them to kill me in here. As you know well, I am being punished for exposing government fraud. However, millions of people don't file tax returns. I was just used as an example by the DOJ for the new program called the Tax Defiers Initiative. I have a wonderful husband and two beautiful children. I've already spent 21 months in prison for non-crime, and I refuse to come out dead or marred for life. I have not caused these people any problems. This is no threat, but just for your information, I have written the warrant, the warden today. Things can't go on this way as I language in here for someone's political gain. God doesn't like ugly, and he is the ultimate judge and vindicator. That's right. These wardens, these police, these jail guards that are involved in evil, they all have the most hellish lives statistically. Cancer, alcohol, drug, their families, their kids dying in car wrecks. Don't worry. Anyone that abuses good people doesn't have to wait till they die to be judged. You get judged now. Anything bad you do in life comes back on you sevenfold. The good book says that, and it's true. That's why I want to tell wicked people. I've been in jail several times, arrested at protest, and every time I've had police slam my head in walls and laugh at me and push me around. I've seen scum. I've seen criminals. I know evil people when I see them. And the police and the jail guards, their ranks are filled with sadists and sickos and filth who would slam my head in a wall or punch me in the back trying to get me to fight back so they could beat the living daylights out of me. These are un-American, Nazi blood-sucking, murdering trash. And they release the hardcore criminals to come out and menace the public. And the media and the culture is all about worshiping them and worshiping their corruption. But the people know the truth. Now, there are a lot of good police, and I'm sure there must be some good jail guards. I hadn't met them. And you're, what you're doing is evil. And what you're doing is wrong. And just like Hitler's goons, you're going to be brought to justice. So if you're on the wrong side of history, you better get back on the right side of history. She's in the FCI Coleman Medium Federal Correctional Institution, P.O. Box 1032. Now, these crooks don't care that you know that they're killing her, or, but they are afraid of the political repercussions. Okay, so so they're enjoying what they're doing. But they are concerned about people learning about what's happening. See, for a psychopath, it's the pain they induce on people is their daily pleasure. You like a cup of coffee or going fishing, they like torturing people. It's a, it's a petty power thing. They get off on it. Coleman, Florida, 33521. And the website information's up on Infowars.com. The uh, phone numbers are up on Infowars.com. Everybody call these criminals. Let them know we're fully aware of their criminal activity. And uh, let them know if they're wondering why their lives are so cursed, why they're so unhappy. It's because most of your prisoners are innocent people you're torturing to death. You know, and, you, and you know why. You wonder why your life's so bad? It's because you're evil. Okay? That's why you're not happy. More evil isn't going to make it better. Back Sunday Live, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. Great job, crew. Retransmission jam-packed with the latest Climate Gate info. Restarting right now at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com on the audio streams. Have a great weekend. Be safe and wake somebody up today.